most exciting topic at Finnair with Europe this year? I'd say for us it's been um, seeing a lot of the word accelerate and a lot of people talking about acceleration of their businesses. Um, it's something that we've started talking about ourselves with organisations around how they accelerate the data they're getting, how they accelerate the processes they have and how they're accelerating their business to keep up with the digital age. Every one's going through the digital transformation and in the financial sector they're finding it even harder so it's really keeping up with that change that's happening and accelerating their business. What product services are you showcasing today? So today we demonstrated our CRM and BPM platform. Uh, it's an easy to use out of the box platform that allows our customers in the financial sector to journey their customer, follow their customer journey uh, with a simple easy to use platform. Um, they uh, intuitive and AI driven with a BPM platform uh, sitting behind it allowing them to adopt the, the changes that they need very quickly within the platform and make those business processes work for them and their customers. Uh, what are the issues and challenges that you face while providing the solution? Yeah absolutely, so in the financial sector we're seeing a lot of banks uh, and financial services still really coping with the financial, uh, the digitalization age. So what we've seen recently is a real change in their attitude towards that. Uh, and the more change that happens, the better. Um, previously, they've been using legacy systems that have been, that were really tough to integrate themselves the first time. Um, so when someone suggests maybe we should look at a new system, maybe we should consider a new CRM system, they know the pain that they went through, the costs, the, the months and years of implementation last time. In actual fact, they're reserved for going through that again. We're seeing that change now and we're working with uh, the institutes to say that's not the way it needs to work anymore. We are really easy to implement. We're talking weeks and months of, of implementation. It's really quick to do that. But also we're seeing a higher user adoption rate than previously within banks and financial services because we've got a, such an easy user face for them to use. And finally, it's about then giving them the access to data and bringing in all of their other business data that they have and their uh, customers' data. Previously, that's been really hard for them, really challenging. But with a really open API, we're able to do that really quickly. So that's the biggest challenge at the moment, getting in front of them and saying, you don't have to go through a painful, expensive, long process. In actual fact, we can make it really simple and quick for you. So going forward, what are the trends and advancements that we should expect in 2018? Well, in 2017, it was all about digitalization and those digitalization transformation projects, and we're still seeing them going into 2018. I don't see there being too much change away from that, and the drive from a lot of the financial services that we're working with is about how do they understand what they can utilize within that process, and what can they do to make sure that they're prepared for those processes. We work a lot of organizations that have got great employees, great strategy, but that's not enough to drive their business forward. They need the right processes and the right services and the right products behind that. So I think this year we'll continue to see the growth of digitalization. I think the three key areas of that will be AI, uh, the continued development of AI coming into every solution that you're using. Process management will also deliver that, keeping to set processes in the financial services sector. We see that more and more, that need to have set processes in place. And I think finally, it will be about access to smart data. So taking AI data, taking all of the data that the banks have and financial services have, and driving that more into their business so that they can make those right decisions with their customers at the right time.